Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, on today's uh, tutorial video, we'll be taking a very important uh, uh, part of gross anatomy that a lot of students usually um, sideline, they think is not important. So we're taking some common nerves syndromes and the nerves that are involved in this syndrome. So welcome to Med School Drill once again. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel before we proceed to the video. It just take you like a second, just click on the subscribe button. And thank you for 100 plus subscribers. We really appreciate it. So let's begin. First thing, what is nerve neuropathy or nerve syndrome? This is the weakness, numbness and pain from nerve damage, usually in the hands and feet. A common cause of peripheral neuropathy is diabetes, but it can also result from injuries, infection, and exposure to to toxins. So, uh, what is all saying here is nerve neuropathy or nerve syndrome has to do with a kind of medical condition whereby there's a damage to a nerve or a lesion to a nerve. So, let us begin this this video proper. The first thing we have here is the carpal carpal tunnel tunnel syndrome. So, carpal tunnel syndrome is a very common uh, uh, syndrome which you find in your in your wrist. It's a cause at your wrist region. So, it's it's more common in the females. So, the nerve involved here is the medial nerve. So, in this case, uh, the medial nerve might be severed, which means that it be cut, or it might be undergoing some kind of um, compression so what therefore it cannot communicate with the muscle which it innervates in the in the hand so it can lead to wasting of that muscle in particular next we have here is winged scapula syndrome now the nerve involved here is the long thoracic nerve the long thoracic nerve next thing we have is a surgical neck fracture now this surgical neck i'm referring to the surgical neck of the humerus now when there is a fracture or second of the nerves, the nerve likely to be injured or damaged is the axillary nerve. Number four, we have the pronator syndrome. Now, the pronator syndrome is, is mainly occurs at the elbow. So sometimes you can also call it um, um, a golfer's elbow because it's very frequent among people who play golf. So the nerve involved here is the medial nerve also. So take note of this. Media nerve. Number five, we have the cubital tunnel syndrome. Um, so the nerve involved here is the ulnar nerve. So what it means here is that at that cubital region in your in your upper limb, at that region there, uh, the, the nerve might be severed or might undergo some kind of depression or might be um, undergo some kind of trauma, whatever kind of trauma. It it once on the ulnar nerve, it causes Cubital tunnel syndrome. We have the Goyon Canal syndrome. In the Goyon Canal syndrome, the nerve involved here is the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve. You can see it uh, in, in some patients at the uh, at the most medial parts of your of your hand, uh, very close to the hook of armpit around that area, around that region. That's where the Goyon Canal syndrome occurs. Number seven, we have the thoracic outlet syndrome. Now, the nerve involved here is the lower trunk of the brachial plexus T1 and to, T2 to, to, to C8 nerve, nerve, nerve roots. So, take note of that. So, and it's commonly known as uh, you can, your lecture might just say TOS, thoracic outlet syndrome. Number eight, we have the piriformis syndrome. Uh, the nerve involved here or the nerve that has been damaged here is the sciatic nerve. Also, know that the sciatic nerve. Is the longest nerve in the in the body sciatic nerve number nine we have the pharyngeal peristatica now the nerve that's involved here is the lateral the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh so in the pharyngeal peristatica the nerve involved is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh number ten we have the Chirangial peristatica. So the nerve that's involved in this particular neuropathy or syndrome is the superficial radial nerve. 
Next we have here is the tarsal tunnel syndrome. The nerve that is involved here is the posterior tibia nerve. The posterior tibia nerve kindly hit the subscribe button. So I'm going through this video. Just take a second. Thanks for your support. Number twelve. What we have here is the. It's called the molten metal tarsalgia. Let me say it again. Molten metatarsalgia now the nerve that is involved here is the interdigital nerve of third and fourth toe i've seen some text whereby they just wrote the interdigital nerve but i want you to be more specific that we are adding the third and the fourth of the third and the fourth toe number 13 we have the radial tunnel syndrome in the radial tunnel syndrome, the nerve involved here is the posterior interosseous nerve. The nerve involved here is the posterior interosseous nerve. This posterior interosseous nerve, which you can, which some text we call as a uh, P I N, is a uh, it's kind of, it's like should I say the branch or let me better still it comes out or it, or it emits yes it emits from the radial nerve number 14 we have the kilonavin syndrome now in the kilonavin syndrome the nerve involved here is the anterior interosseous nerve called as the p the pin interosseous nerve is a branch or it emits from the medial nerve number 15 we have the notalgia peristatical the notalgia peristatical so the nerve that's involved here is the superficial sensory neuropathy in the intrascapular region the nerve involved here is the superficial sensory neuropathy in the intrascapular area number 16 we have the obturator syndrome in the obturator syndrome the nerve that is involved here is the obturator nerve. It's quite, uh, it's quite obvious, but it's not always so. So just take note of some differences that you might see in some uh, questions. Number 17, how the radial groove fracture. So in the radial groove fracture, so the radial groove is a bony landmark found on the humerus, on the mid shaft of the humerus of the Pacific. So when there's a fracture of the, of the um, mid shaft of the scapula, the nerve as involved is the radial nerve. Number 18, we have the partial claw hand. In the partial claw hand, uh, the nerve that is uh, as involved here is the ulnar nerve. So we have the partial claw hand and we have the uh, the, the claw hand. So just take your time and just there's just a little bit of difference. They both have similar innervation uh, spots. Ulnar nerve occurs in both situations so just do some research on the differences between these two to increase your mass of knowledge but 19 we have the hand of benediction in the hand of benediction the nerve that is involved here is the medial nerve so the medial nerve is involved in the hand of benediction but 20 the waiter's tip the waiter's tip deformity in the other term, the nerve involved here is the nerve root of C5 and C6. Nerve root of C5 and C6. So, next we have here is the finger drop syndrome. So, we have your, we have wrist drop and we have a finger drop. They are different. Similar in the way they are similar, but uh, there is a difference in the particular area where the depression or the leisure occurs so the nerve involved here is the posterior interosseous nerve which you can easily put as the what as p i n i've told you before the p i n so uh, now we have is the flat shoulder so in the flat shoulder uh the nerve uh, here is the axillary nerve so in the flat shoulder what i'm referring to or what this term means is the um the muzzle on the shoulder which is the deltoid muzzle so if the axillary nerve is damaged the deltoid muzzle 
will lose its uh, elevation therefore it becomes flat because uh, it is no, it's no longer active this put like no longer active number 23 we have a uh, wrist drop so your wrist drop uh, caused due to a lesion or an injury to the radial radial nerve so note that so i believe i'll come to the end of this video this was a very short precise video quick for you for your exam for these are exam focus tips that i gave you make sure you watch this video like two or three times to increase your math so kindly subscribe to my channel so you know whenever i post a new video thank you for your support and good luck in your exams